Good morning. It doesn't matter if it's morning, afternoon, or evening because now we're orbiting Saturn aboard Space Station Observation. In the last part, at the end, Emma Fisher and I experienced something very paranormal. And I was given this directive again that says, bring her. We have no idea what that means, but now we're suddenly dealing with some other kind of AI or some other alien influence. And this is right where part five picks up. Huh? Oh my God, what is that? Monolith from 2001, except it's hexagonal. Oh God. Okay. Through the hexagon. Please don't. Oh no, don't tell me I have to remember all those. Oh yes, it's another puzzle. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, let's try it. Hey, I can get through these puzzles. Um, so there are a lot of puzzles in the game, but they actually make sense. This one doesn't make as much sense. Like, why is this puzzle even here? The the previous, you know, the magnet balancing system for the fusion reactor, that made perfect sense. I mean, that made total sense in its context, but what the hell is this? Um, A, F. Yep, I was supposed to remember that. Yep, I was totally supposed to remember that. Oh, I can replay it too, okay. Okay, circle, circle. Yeah, I remember that. Like a tuning fork, and then circle into a bigger circle. Okay, so circle, circle, tuning fork, four, and then circle into a bigger circle. There, and accept. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like another AI system communicating with me. Not again. What the hell is that? No. It wants me to do it all over again? Uh-huh. And then four. And then W. That's got to be the right one. Yes, there we go. I don't know what that whole thing was all about. What is that? Oh, I see. It's... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, let's play it one more time. Yeah, circle in a circle. And then $20,000 pyramid, uh, chevrons, and then a bunch of circles with the hexagon. Okay, so I said circle within a circle, and then the $20,000 pyramid, uh, chevrons, didn't I say chevrons? Yes. And then um, a bunch of circles with hexagon. There. That must certainly be the right answer. It's saying something. Oh my god. And again, there's another puzzle. This is really bizarre. Oh, come on. Another puzzle? Yep. Circle in a circle. Um, ping pong. $20,000 pyramid. And nothing. Okay, circle in a circle. Then I said ping pong. Where the hell is ping pong? There it is. A. Uh, $20,000 pyramid. Uh-huh. Yes. And this has got to be... Please don't make me do this again. Yep, I think we're finally getting through. There. Oh, God. Don't tell me we're going to Titan. Oh shit. 
why do I get this weird feeling we're going to Titan? Because one of the photos in one of the um, I don't uh, know why. these were flashbacks we were showed like the surface it could be Titan. I'm doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. So do I. power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. Okay, so now... Boy, that was a whack job of a chapter. This feels like a new chapter now, so let's just do what she said. If we hold down O, okay, we can't hold down O. She said give her a diagnostic, so let's do it. And if we hold down R, okay, we can't do anything here, but if we go into module one, let's find out what's going on in module one. Okay, so yeah, that's all fine. Uh, module UNO1 is probably there's going to be some issues. Yeah, see, hull contacts are false, so there's some problems connecting to the UN modules. Let's... Module UN1, hull contact points to EAS3 are unresponsive. Well, they're unresponsive, at least. Bad. Yes, it is. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. Yes. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Ooh, we have to reclamp like outside. Like you're going for a spacewalk, Sam. Ooh, this is going to be exciting. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. <laughs> to upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS 11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. Okay. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. And, well, I just heard something open. Uh, we have to possess that sphere. Yeah, something just opened not too far from here. Um, I can't tell if I'm having a frame rate drop or what. Um, uh, this game does really, uh, boy, it really heats up my GTX 1080 Ti card. Uh, is this where we go? I don't know. Something Weird as go. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I stitched the video in. I had to take a look at my graphic settings and check my card. It was running really hot. But anyway, I figured out what we have to do. So it says scan the spear codes, HBC codes in EAS 11. Well, if you just take a look at the map really quick, we're in EAS 9. Um, and this goes to EAS 10. And you know that just by walking in there, it says EAS-10. And then behind us is EAS-8. So this is EAS-11. This has to be EAS-11. In fact, I can bet you money it is. La, there it is. And scan the whatever codes. Maybe that's it. That's it. Uh-huh, spear upgrade procedure. So we're gonna upgrade us for um, extravehicular activity. Uh huh. Scanning the upgrades with the spear. So light scan, speed scan, signal scan, and then combine. Oh my God! This is ridiculous. Yeah. So we have to. Yeah. Three spear upgrades. Scanning the appropriate upgrades with the spear will allow blah blah blah. Firmware to be applied, enabling these features using a terminal. Users may combine the script compiler with all feature scripts to apply. <laughs> All right, so before we can get outside, we're going to have to do that. So, this, the Spear Compiler, hold this to scan. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, we got that. Good. Data recovered, and then we're going to hold this for extra speed. These are like little upgrades that are going to prepare us for outside. Data combination now available. And combine files in the memory core. Okay, good. Now we're going to go into this, and now we're going to, and how do you do that? Yeah, data combination now available. Combine files in the memory core. So how do you do that? Oh, for crying out loud. And in the memory core. Maybe we have to do it on a terminal or something. She said maybe you have to do it on a terminal. I don't know. Well, let's 
look around a little bit. Actually, we seem to be, let's do this, there. Now we seem, we feel like we're actually looking the right way. We're rolled the proper way now. And so this is how we're going to get out, but it says combine files in the memory core. Okay, am I just missing something? Oh, here, the memory core. Here it is. Move the cursor. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Search for fragments. Okay. Yeah. And then view data. <laughs> Zoom out, connect nodes. What the hell is this? What the hell? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, but like there's like, no, they're all good up here. Oh, I see. These are like the, uh, everything that I've collected. See, this is all the data that I've collected so far. See, script compiler, fragment added, spear upgrade HBC A, HBC B, there it is. No, 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 no. So Great, that's how we do it. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. Okay, now we go outside. We're going to be doing a spacewalk, or shall we say a spear walk. Yeah, how do you get out? Boost? What is boost? Well, is she going to let me out or not? Maybe I have to, uh... Okay. Now what does it say? It says depress airlock. Okay. Where's the airlock? It's pissing me off. There it is. Oh my god. Internal hatch open. External. Okay, so we're going to have to close the internal hatch. Obviously, right? There, now it's closed. Now we can. Now we have to adjust the pressure. Yeah, we have to equalize the pressure so it's the same as outside, which is zero. Right now we can open the, the control hatch. panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS three. Okay. The outer hull of EAS three. Oh god. Should maybe check out a US twelve while we're out here. Please don't Oh, by the way, I found out that Z and C will um control my at my altitude. Oh my god. Look, this is the whole station. Oh my god! How do I even know what I'm looking at? Where am I? So, you hear what she just said, something about EAS-03. Yeah, re-engage the EAS-03 hatch clamps. And the reason we have to do that... Don't worry. What do you mean the data's missing? EAS. Tell me data's missing. I guess it's because we're... I don't know. I don't know why it says it's doing like a boost thing. I don't know what that means. Boost. <laughs> I don't know. EAS03. Yeah, I really wish I knew where the hell. Oh, look at all that damage. Maybe the. They're actually. Aha, they're numbered. Okay, so there's nine. Wow. EAS08. Straight down, Sam. Oh, there. Controls with the bottom of the EAS arm. Uh huh. EAS two. EAS five. Getting closer. Uh huh. Good. Look for the she's controls helping. Controls on EAS three. Yeah. Look for the controls on EAS three. While well, I'm looking, but I don't see anything. Oh, look for the controls. There's the hall contacts. There it is. Maybe that's what we need to uh, investigate. Look for the controls. The hull clamps. And what we're interested in is how it's connecting to the UN modules, which is probably this. Yeah, see, like this whole thing. Um, oh, there it is. I see it. Duh. Hatch clamps. 
Okay, before we get embroiled in another puzzle, let's figure out how to re-engage these hatch clamps in the next episode, alright? So if you like this game and if you like my footage of it in 4K, then definitely click the like button. Now, also, subscribe to my channel and make sure your notifications are on, and that way you'll get all these episodes as they come up and as I premiere them, alright? We'll see you next time on Space Station Observation. Thanks for watching.